going from favorites to the least favorite team bamsi don't be lonely bro as in villas man united nil nil united have had for tweets eric ten hag has found a new job because they saw uh, a villa ball boy who is 60 years old sitting there out the same years old as where did you find that photo dude like it's hilarious don't worry about where i found it i have sources but eric <laughs> uh was sitting uh, the ball boy um, uh, at villa park yeah yeah it could be his brother i don't know but uh one to more important thing united have had the worst start to their premier league season ever eight points after seven games and guess okay question up and up second worst start for uh man united season ever which manager second worst start this is the worst start okay yes. david moyes eric, eric ten hag last eric, year eric okay last, year. last season yeah <laughs> exactly last year <laughs> Nine, nine, nine points after eight games. Basically, if he gets another one point in the next game, it's the same. I'm um, see thoughts on yeah. this one. Like, where are you at right now? Not good at all. Obviously, the stats are very bad. It doesn't help that we doesn't score. We don't score goals. I think it's a really big problem. We've drawn a lot of games. I think this is the third Premier League draw in the last three four games. I think the last loss was Tottenham, and we haven't won a game after that. It's sort of crazy, right? Like when we're scoring goals and we don't win games, and then all of a sudden we don't score goals. So he needs this time to sort of figure out, you know, the balance in the team. You can't just go after three years, week in, week out, not not knowing what to expect in a team. And they're not going to sack him this season. It's, it's just impossible. They're not going to sack him this game. Big contract. They got in a lot of coaches to support him, and all of this doesn't point to like a rebellion. Right, and I think Ten Hag was smart. Maybe got, maybe took advantage of Ineos. But I think he, I think he feels he's done enough to see the season out, for good or bad. And if he has shortcomings, everybody will, they'll be out every week to see that. And after that, he wants to like not even sack. He would want to leave after that. You know what I mean? He's like, don't even sack me, like like okay. Ole mutual, uh, like mutual contract domination. Hmm. But he needs to, he needs to do something because we obviously can't afford to sack him. We don't like the. For the PSR rules, if we don't make Europe, we can't sack him. Then we don't have the money to do this. That is so, entirely very confusing in my head yeah. uh, because you guys extended his contract. Uh, we don't have any other United fan on this panel. Everyone else wants United. Uh, I mean, Ten Hag to stay, so no one's going to debate you here. Everyone's going to be like, "Yeah, you're probably right." But, but, but uh, I do have one question though: like, what should happen for Ten Hag to get sacked this season? Because so far, it's been the worst start to the Premier League. It's been defeated at home to Liverpool and to Spurs three zero. And I think again, give. Given everything, especially last season and season before, I think this calls for a sack and calls for something, uh, you know, a start of a new thing. What needs to happen for United to sack him this season? He needs to resign. He's been doing nothing. what he's doing consistently. Nothing. He doesn't need to do anything. He just needs to keep on doing what he's doing. Yeah. And be consistent wow. with that, and he'll get the sack soon. But I think, um, no, I think we are shitting on him too much. He's a top manager, dude. He wins trophies everywhere he goes. I think the issue is institutionally with Manchester United right now, like. If you look at all the big boys, I think no one of us would debate that they have the worst squad out of all the people, right? Out of all the teams, they have the worst possible squad. There's no balance, there's no chemistry. You can bring in Brian Guardiola over here, and they would not win shit. I, th- I don't think Ten Hag still has his players. I think he needs a little bit, a little bit more transfer windows to bring players in. I think I think he's a national right. treasure. We should preserve him, and it'll be a travesty if we end up firing him. I think uh, it'll be a big loss to the league. Like Egypt, I, I Egypt, genuinely Egypt, believe. Do yeah, 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 you guys yeah, yeah. all eat your eat your words if he wins something this season? And you know, I am I am telling. No, I'm right, saying he's I'm the second best manager. I'm asking: Is it possible? Is it possible that all of you eat your word or eat your words this season if he wins something? It's a yes yeah, or no is, question. That is why we want him to stay. I think he can win. He has yeah. proved that he can win. He's oh. better than Arteta. Do like he's won two more than Arteta. Yeah. Okay, what do you say? What is it? What do you think he's going to win? We don't. That's You're so Una close to winning the Community <laughs> Shield, also, dude. Like, come on. Like, he yeah. should stay. That's Una Emery players. We didn't win that. Oh, Jade and Sancho missed that penalty, by the way. The deciding <laughs> penalty that needed to be taken. <laughs> You guys remember this? Okay, jokes apart. Jokes apart. We all want Ten Hag to stay. Jokes We are apart. all the same. Jokes, jokes apart. Jokes apart. That is the jokes. Jokes apart. And Ten Hag on that side as well. No, no. But seriously, okay. I have a, I have a genuine question, right? At what point? I mean, Ten Hag. We all know the realities of United and coaching and all of that. At what point do we question the ownership? Because we all saw what happened last season. I mean, you said that it was the worst start of the season. They had like almost almost a year, and they basically. I mean, if Vamsi is right, they basically got held at ransom by a manager who basically does. Should not have any cards on them, and they still kept him. 
and there were like quite a few manager movements so it's not like there weren't any uh, liverpool couldn't get zabi loan so they got slot hansi flick moved tuchel was available uh, you could say that for like some Is other Zabi managers available? as well Is Zabi Zabi was, was available, available so available? yeah so i don't i mean at what point do you stop i mean stop questioning everybody else but the in yours that how competent are they are they even competent enough to do it i mean at, at least in rivals fans fans in our minds they are not because they clearly are not firing him which where he should be fired at this point of time do so, this happen that's that a, nice that's a question when right? they took over when they took over nice and the same thing happened i think they came in and they were like let's transition everything and i think they fired a lot of people did a lot of transfer business by themselves and it didn't work out for like three four seasons they were eating inios was eating a lot of shit for that like when they took over nice i think but once were... it can't get worse than what it is right now i mean it's not like a glory situation it's like really it's bad not a glory but... situation it's been see there's been a transition season last season was not a transition season okay like they just bought it and they got like dan ashworth and uh, omar barada and all these boys they haven't worked in a year all of them they've literally been gardening so to speak right or yeah, you can't relate to tactics Dude, on the field with ten yeah. hag like, there is no one to question him if there is nobody sitting in the seat there is no one to question this guy right but you shouldn't be able like they shouldn't be questioning for you to do a good job you know what i mean um, or do I mean, your job good to chore do your job like it should yeah. be people questioning you forcing you to do a no, no, no. job See, that you paid to do ten hag is saying i'm doing my job by winning stuff and nobody has shit to say to him because everybody is brand new there Nobody has proven anything to have anything against Ten Hag. Honestly, nobody Amazing coming in has God. anything on them. Psychological hypnotizing. Yeah, I don't know. This is playing like anime. a fiddle. He's the only transition guy left there, and he's the. I told you before the season, he's the only authoritarian figure left. And Ineos had no other choice. They're like either have him or start everything from scratch. Like this whole season would have been a write off. Imagine if he started. Yeah, it, it, it is a write off. It is a write off. It is a write off. Anime said it yeah. can't get worse than that. Ten Hag hold my beer. <laughs> that dog is like I was right, let me show you AJ, you have written of whole decades bro what are you talking about i mean oh, yeah, okay sure let's 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 say that we have and AJ, we have learn from us learn from us Dude, learn from us bro please like learn from us you please. don't want to do the same mistakes right please, please we are telling you to you should not do it all right and i'm guys. telling you we're not prepped bro like to deal to deal with second time Like it's no, just not an absolutely not. It's like absolutely not. You shouldn't catch him. And Tuchel is not happening. It's a pipe dream. Yeah, it's, it's a pipe dream. He wants too much money and too much control. And I think Ineos, if they are smart, they've learned a lesson with. And I think that will push them against Tuchel. Bumsi man, man cannot be there and trust the process, man. Data was our data was losing the same day in the beginning. How could it turn out so? Trust <laughs> the genetic. process and it will all turn out. Same. You're giving yeah, two for two. We zero. trusted the process, <laughs> and you're <laughs> playing Bodo Glim, bro, this season. <laughs> Are you you such a contra walking contradictory machine. <laughs> I have I have Sack, come to the conclusion. I have come to the conclusion that, that Bumsi is footbally football terms bipolar. That's what he is. <laughs> Just because I don't like him doesn't mean I have to sack him. I was okay. literally talking to him for ten minutes. Bumsi, first five minutes were cheating. Okay. That's what I'm saying, right? Just because you don't like someone doesn't mean you should sack him. And if that happened, even Arteta would have been sacked. So you, I just I was just gonna say one thing, just one thing, just one thing. I think the one fact that I love about Arteta the most, the absolute most, is that he has his process and everything that has happened to him has made it a norm that you know this stuff happens and it has made everybody believe and hold on to hopes that it will happen. And it's just leading to so many people's downfall that it is glorious to watch, and I'm all in here for it. So let's keep in here. Let's all keep right. Ten Hag, and let's you know, just keep on doing it.